With the passing of Alvin York, America loses one of its all but legendary folk heroes. Sergeant York, here in front of his Tennessee home before the final years of illness set in, was described by both General Pershing and Marshal Foch as the greatest civilian soldier of World War I, yet he was a reluctant one at first. At the onset of that war in 1917, a reformed hillbilly roisterer asked for draft exemption on religious grounds. Inducted anyway, he finally decided it was God's will that he fight the Germans, and fight he did. One day in the Battle of the Argonne, Corporal York singly killed 25 Germans and captured 132 others. Films of the time show the returned soldier, now a sergeant, arriving at the White House to receive one of the many medals showered upon him. They do not show the adulation America gave its first war hero who was a lowly infantryman, not a dashing officer. In intervening years, he came again with his wife and their two sons to the White House. But mostly, he lived in retirement, helping to bring education to the alert but illiterate young people of his native hills. Spanning the newsreel years between the early silent films and sound, a middle-aged Sergeant York speaks for himself and his fellow doughboys as he receives a citation from the Gold Star Mothers. Certainly is an honor to receive this uh, presentation from the Gold Star Mothers of the World War, whom we uh, love so dearly, me and my comrades. And I accept this not only for myself, but for all of my brothers who were in the World War. I thank you.